Welcome to Sentry 1. In this video, we will finish our discussion on Sentry 1 security by configuring rights-based security for a newly created user. From within the Sentry 1 client, we will create a new user contact and apply rights-based security by doing the following. We will expand the contacts folder within the navigator pane. Right-click on the users folder and select new. Here we will fill in the information for our user and select the disk icon in the toolbar to save the user. We will then close the Add User window and expand the Users folder in the Navigator pane. Here we can double click on the New User and we will see a Rights tab available. We will click on this tab and select the Add button down in the lower right hand corner. This will bring up options that we can select to limit what this user can view. In this case, I only want the user to be able to see my VM group, so I will select it from the list and click on the OK button. I will now check the box under the Allow column and select the disk icon in the toolbar to save my selection. Please note that by explicitly allowing this group, I am implicitly denying all other objects within Sentry 1. If you plan on using the deny option, you will need to allow the other objects that you want a user to be able to see. I am now logged into the client with my user's credentials, and we can see that this user only has the ability to see the VM group, so we have verified that the rights-based security has been applied properly. If you have any questions about this information, or you would like further assistance, please navigate to our support website at support.sentry1.com. Thanks for watching.